So I'm here in the Lighthouse Cinema with Eddie Jackson and Mark McCabe. Eddie, tell me a little bit about why you felt that you wanted to make your own film as opposed to just keeping on auditioning for everybody else's. We were, we were auditioning for things and we just wanted to make our own stuff because that, that's what all the casting directors in Dublin are saying at the moment. There's, there's not a lot of work out there at the moment, so just go out there and make your own stuff. So that's what we've done and we're going to continue to do it. What did it entail? Like, How did you just go about it? Did you just, just decide one day, okay, myself and Mark are going to sit down and write this and you, did you have any clue how to go about it or was it all just learning as you go? It was a long process. Like, It wasn't just like overnight. It took us a good few months, didn't it, to, to make it. Like, it, was, it was very important to us that... Um, you know, we wanted we wanted a, a very realistic story with real people. Like it wasn't just we didn't want sort of two D characters as actors. That was important to us, you know. And we had themes, we had themes and ideas for the film, which, which kind of we got a little bit of help out of people as well. And it was important for us that it was set in sort of a attention sort of filled environment. We've both seen things where it was really interesting to watch that. Where does attention go when it has nowhere to go? You know, and that you know, brings drama. How did you go about, like, did you, did you raise any money or did, did this all come out of your own pockets or did you get any funding or...? Um, well, we didn't get any funding off... Uh, we just, we, we organised a fundraiser in um, in the Mez and we got bands, uh, we got Mr. Sands, uh, Stony Brokes, the Eskies, um, and Jack and the Band to play, uh, which they all they all done and we had a brilliant, we had a really good night, like, uh, we raised um, about seven, uh, 675 euro of the film cost about between 900 and a gram to, to make. Um, I, I don't I, I don't think when you watch it you'll think that it was made. I think a lot of people have said that it looks like it's been made for a lot more than that, you know what I mean, and ask us where we got our money from. But it just came out of hard work and everyone that's on the crew and cast, they all wanted to work for free and didn't want to work for free, but they uh, they were willing to work because they seen that it was going to be a, a really good project, you know what I mean? So and it, it is, like we've, we're very happy with the results. Have you had any feedback from anybody about the movie itself? Has, have you got any kind of, you know, help out with any kind of directors or producers or anything like that? Has anybody kind of given you any advice along the way? The aim for it is to get it into the festivals around the world and let people see it that way. But we did have to kind of ask people we trust, kind of view it and see where... We, it was very important for me to put a lot of... There was a lot of subtext in the film and stuff that, you know, won't come across if you, unless you're paying a lot of attention to it, you know? And yeah, we got we got a lot of help with help out with that. Like we asked we asked the actors and stuff like that to we all talked about our characters and we developed them together, like, you know. And it was important because we wanted to see for us the film's about, you know, fractures that occur in family over time. And do we care what's going on in our families, you know? That sort of thing. So it was very important to ask every as a family, because that's what we were supposed to be, as a family, what we thought about that. Well, fair play to you, lads. He's made a movie out of nothing and it's very, very good. So everybody keep an eye out for House of Cards. Eddie Jackson, Mark McCabe. Not the last we're going to hear of them, I don't think. Did you get a flattened little boy there, Joe, did you? Tell us, Lisa. That young boy you brought home the last time, is he still in your life? I told you I don't drink. Anyone have anything interesting they'd like to share? 